I'm Gail Perry, Editor-in-Chief of CPA Practice Advisor, and I'm here with Matt Armanino of Armanino LLP, uh, who is attending his first ITA meeting. Um, Matt, tell me a little bit about what brought you here. Um, well, as a firm, we've been coming to ITA for some time, but I'm excited to be here uh, my first time because I've heard so many great things about ITA from uh, people within our own firm uh, and from Intact. Intact's been a huge advocate. Uh, they're one of our strategic partners, and they've really encouraged uh, us to participate, and uh, me in particular. So I'm excited to be here and learn more and uh, excited to share more of, of what we're doing and learn and learn from others and what people are doing in the marketplace. So. I think it's a great forum, from what I understand, for that, for people exchanging ideas and, and what they're seeing in the marketplace. So that's why I'm here. Are there particular things you hope to take away from this event? You know, when I come to an event like this, I always look for a couple of nuggets. You know, it's great to network and meet more people, but you often leave with a couple of key things that you heard uh, somebody say that you stop and say, hey, how's that apply to our business? How's that apply to our clients? So um, I guess that's what I'm looking for, a few of those nuggets that we can take back and apply uh, at Armanino. So tell me a little bit about Armanino and what's happening there. Sure. I mean, I, I think, you know, Armanino is, uh, uh, is a large firm. We're the largest California-based CPA and consulting firm. And unlike a lot of other CPA firms, we are uh, very focused on the consulting business. Um, our consulting practice is almost 50% of our firm's revenue. So it's grown very, very significantly over the last uh, five or six years. And there's some exciting things uh, uh, going on. So. Uh, for us in particular, the cloud space is incredibly interesting. Um, we're seeing just so many changes there. If you stop and kind of recognize how the market is evolving, it's pretty incredible. And so it's our job uh, as a partner and advisor to our clients to keep up with the market. And actually our goal is a little bit different. It's to, to kind of stay ahead of the market and where it's going. Because that's what our clients are all interested in is, you know, where where's... Uh, the market going to be six months from now and 12 months from now. What should they be thinking about? What are the kind of the best practices that, that they should be implementing today that's going to help them uh, get to where they want to go in the future? So, Is it opportunities that have been brought about by the cloud that have been fueling your growth? Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the, the key growth drivers for sure. If I go back uh, even two or three years ago, our cloud business represented a very, very small percentage of revenue for Armanino, and today... Uh, this year it'll be about 25% of our consulting revenue. So it's, it's very significant. Um, you know, our focus is primarily on the CFO organization. We've made it a goal as, as a firm to be, um, you know, really a, a go-to shop for CFOs in terms of what they should be doing and best practices, what's going on in the marketplace, what's going on in their industry. And uh, for us, um, you know, that means what are the best breed applications that great CFO organizations are deploying today um, how are they deploying them? How are they getting value out of them? More and more so all the time, how are they integrating them? Um, and so what does that architecture look like? What's the strategy look like? And, and it's changing, like I said, very, very uh, quickly. It's an incredibly exciting time right now. Um, I think a lot of accounting firms, maybe the majority, tend to um, focus on what has happened. And you and your firm seem to be focused on what's going to happen. So how do you stay ahead of the curve? It's not easy. I mean, I, you know, I always think back to uh, that famous quote from Wayne Gretzky, the, uh, the NHL star. And, you know, what he said is most people skate to where the puck is, and he was successful because he skated to where the puck is going. And that, I like to think about that in our business. Um, our clients don't want to look through the rearview mirror of their own business. They're looking, um, they're looking ahead and where are things going. And I think one of the things that's universally true across our client base, uh, regardless of company size uh, and regardless of industry, is our clients know where they are today and they know where they want to get to. And those are fundamentally different things. And pretty much across the board, it's someplace even more exciting than where they are today. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be taking a company public if you're a private, uh, private company. Uh, for a mid-market public company, it might be expanding internationally. It might be engaging in strategic acquisitions. Um, so there's a lot going on. And the million-dollar question that they ask us is, how do we get there? What are the key uh, investments? What are the key initiatives that we should be focused on from a people standpoint, uh, a business process standpoint? And today, more and more so, it's always about from a technology standpoint that are going to allow us to get to where we want to go. So that's really, really a fun place to be and an exciting opportunity. So tell me some of the things that you guys are doing that are exciting. Yeah. Well, you know, at a cornerstone of our cloud strategy is our relationship with Intact. 
Uh, great partnership, fantastic solution in the marketplace, a great fit for our clients. We've invested uh, very heavily there. Uh, organically, we've invested. Uh, a few go years ago, we integrated the, uh, the acquisition of Access Tech uh, in Naperville, so that was exciting. That whole team stayed along with us. Um, and so that practice has really grown, about 25 uh, full-time consultants today that get up and, and uh, do implementations. So I think we've done about 350 implementations now in the last three years. That's quite a lot. Uh, in addition, we've invested very, very heavily in our integration and development team. So that's a really uh, strategic area for us and growing very, very quickly. And that group's doing really two things. One, they're working on key connectors between Intact and other best-of-breed cloud solutions, primarily that affect the finance organization, things like adaptive insights for budgeting and planning, uh, things like Easy for stock option accounting and administration, uh, and many other solutions as well. So that's one is kind of these pre-built uh, connectors and integration integrations for uh, the marketplace. And the second is it's a group that really can take on any new challenge that comes up. So when we're with our clients, there's, there's something new every day. They want to figure out um, how Intact or another system is going to integrate with, um, with Zora for subscription billing or Concur for expense management or Coupa for e-procurement or you name it. And so we have a group of dedicated resources that work on those integrations on a custom basis as well. So those are a couple of the key areas today. Um, very exciting that uh, we are one of Adaptive Insights' largest partners. We see a lot of uh, opportunity there for us. Uh, as I mentioned, easy. Making some other investments um, this year as well, well in uh, practice areas around new solutions. So you'll be hearing more about that soon.